Hello friends, welcome to another session of video tutorial on robot framework. If you are an existing subscriber, thanks for all the support. If you are a new visitor or a regular visitor to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. To subscribe to this channel, click on subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that whenever I post a new video, you get the updates. In the last session, we have seen how to make use of uh, uh, variables as well as passing the arguments to a particular keyword. The variables which we talked about in the last session yeah. are called scalar variables. Okay, so this dollar symbol represents that the variable is of type scalar variable. So it can contain only one value. So this session is in continuation with the last session. Today we are going to take a look at two more variable types. One is list type, list variable type and the dictionary variable type. So for that, I'm going to copy this robot file and then paste it into the same folder and I'm going to call this as a list text robot file click on ok so let me close this okay in this session we are not going to talk about um, the arguments so that's why I'm removing arguments and the parameters So we'll go back to the original code, which is using the scalar variables, which is these two. Earlier we were passing the values from the test case so now we have to use make use of this variable scalar variables which we have created earlier okay let me make sure that this still works right click okay so it's still working so now let us talk about a list variable type. So since we know that all the scalar variable starts with the dollar symbol followed by the name of the variable in the curly braces. So the list variables starts with hat symbol followed by the variable name inside the curly braces. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to store multiple values for the username inside this list variable name. Suppose say if your web page has got many login, username and password combination, then all the usernames with all the possible usernames can go into this particular list. Okay, for the time being, I'm going to add few values into this list variable. First one is Tom Smith. Second value will be Tom. Third value will be Smith. Fourth value will be Tom Smith one. So these are the values which gets stored into this particular variable, which is a list variable. So now we have stored all the values. So how do we make use of this particular variable instead of scalar variable? Now, this is where we have the username, which we need to provide. Instead of using the scalar variable here, I'm going to make use of list variable I 
so this is our list variable now how do I pass in the first value or the second value or the third value or the fourth value which is stored inside this particular list so we for that we make use of index value so Tom Smith is stored at zeroth index one two and three so I provide the index value here which is zero so that means fetch me the value which is stored in this particular list variable at zeroth index which is Tom Smith in our case okay save this right click run this as you can see it it fetched this value and then passed into this input text so let us see if I pass in one it should fail let me save this and rerun this because at this point of time it is going to use it is going to make use of Tom instead of Tom Smith okay so right click run robot test as you can see the username is invalid because it used Tom instead of Tom Smith okay this says that you know our list variable is behaving as expected okay so that is how we can make use of list variable let us see now the dictionary variable okay so I'm going to make use of the same username here instead of providing it to the list variable here I'm going to provide it in dictionary variable the dictionary variable starts with ampersand sign okay in the same way as scalar or list variable the variable name gets stored in inside the curly braces so now dictionary contains key value pair which is okay I'm going to call it as user1 so this is the key and this is the value and both get stored into this dict u name how do we fetch the value Tom Smith by using this particular key okay so I'm going to show it for two different users I have two key value pair which gets stored into this dictionary variable now so now we have stored these values into this dictionary variable how do I make use of this variable now so instead of using list variable so we use again ampersand the variable name again followed by instead of using the index we use the key here the key which I'm looking for is user1 okay so this is the key and it will go and search inside this dict variable for this particular key and it fetches this value and provides it to this input text 
okay so let's save this and run this As you can see, it, it ran successfully. Now let us make use of user2 here instead of user1, which is Tom Smith, which is the correct user. Tom is not the username. So, and this should fail. Save it and rerun it. Okay, as you could see, it was typing Tom instead of Tom Smith because it fetched Tom based on this particular key, which we passed into this dictionary variable. We have so far seen how to make use of scalar variable, a list variable and dictionary variable. That is the end of this session. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, suggestions, please post it under comment section under the video. I will see you in the next video.